slowly making progress on Clayton Boyer's Genesis clock. I found some time this week during the evenings to cut out some more of these gears. Since I'm just testing with this to see if the CNC that I have, the modified CNC that I have, has tolerances that are tight enough, I just taped the numbers on to the gears here and we'll see when it's all together how well it works. And if it works pretty well, then I'll make some pretty numbers for this. But for the time being, this is just to see if it all comes together. I still have the half inch parts to cut, but we have the small gears and just about everything else. Also still need to do the inside of the pendulum bob and that'll be done in the half inch plywood. For the small gears here, since there really isn't enough room to do tabs, what I did was I cut these almost the whole way through and then sanded off the very, very last, about sixteenth of an inch, to make these come free. So these are just a hair thinner than they would be, but I think there's enough room. And we've got our beads for the pendulum bob. While working on the Genesis clock, as well as other parts made out of birch plywood, a lot of fine dust is being generated in this enclosure. I've got a vac that I use to clean up the box, but while it's cutting, there's a lot of dust in there that gets blown around and then blown out. So another project that's been on my mind for a while is to use an old fireplace flue for the shop vac and get that outside. So today's project is going to center around getting that unit outside. I'm going to take some flack for this project. This has been on my mind for a while. We have an old wood stove that's been problematic from the get-go and hasn't been used for years. So my workshop, my CNC equipment is built over where the wood stove was. As far as dust collection, I've got a few things I've used inside to keep that under control, but for a long time I wanted to pump that stuff just outside. So this is a temporary set up here just to visualize what's going on and I'm going to build a stand underneath the shop vac, try to build a little rain protection cover over it, and then seal off the opening there for the clean out. I have a few pieces left over from a deck project that's been just in a pile, so we're going to use a couple of these scraps and build the stand for the shop vac. For the other side here, we've got the box for the CNC's, and the opening for the flue right there. So I've got the power cord coming through as well as the duct. And what's really nice is how quiet it is. So temporarily, I just have this plugged in. Shop back is outside. Turn it on. And that's the full noise from that shop back. Nice and quiet. The goal is not to have this on all the time when the CNC is on, but to be able to connect it to the box and purge the air that's in here and pull it out. And a quick base with some scrap wood. The next is to build a side on an angle. A couple side stakes made up of some scrap laying around. That's the outside unit. Pretty simple, somewhat temporary. It's actually very temporary. Everything will be pulled off in a few minutes. The trash can, I cut a slot on the side so that the vac could go through. There's ventilation coming up from the bottom because those deck boards are spaced, as well as an opening on the side. Just have a shock cord holding that down. And as far as the covering into the clean out, just a piece of pine in there tucked in nice and tight. Could put a little paint on that pine. But I'm curious just for a while to see how this works. And if it does work pretty well, I can clean this up and do a much better build in the future. With the other end of the shop vac hose here, we have to connect that to the box here so that we can pull out all of the dust that's in there. And in order to do that, so that sits on there nice and neat, I'm quickly printing up a 3D mount that should hold that nice, nice and tight. This is the second one that I printed. The first one was just a little bit too big. That was the first try, and this is the same size hose, and we're just a little bit too big here. 
So it's easy enough in Tinkercad and Craftware to make that a little bit smaller. Those are the two mounts. This is the one from the other day that was just way too big and the one that was made about 10% smaller. For the vacuum mount, we're gonna put this about, about there. I'll mark it and drill a hole. And then for the outside vac, that'll come over and just sit right there. There's the mount bolted down. Nice, tight fit. I've got the shop vac on and it's pulling the air out and I can tell there is negative pressure in there because if I hold my hand over this vent hole here, I can feel the air being pulled in. There's a breeze being pulled into the box. So I think that will help with some of the dust control, or at least getting most of the particulate out of the CNC box. As another indicator of how strong that suction is, it's hard to catch on camera here, but when I turn it on, the plexiglass windows pull in a little bit. I'll try to capture, capture this here. If I hold the camera real steady and turn it on, you can see a little bit of a pull in. That's on and off on and off. The exit through the flue and out to the shop vac, that's just temporary right there. I'll design a better cover, but for the time being, that's pretty tight. There's the somewhat temporary solution. We'll see how that works over the next few months and adjust accordingly. Thanks very much for taking a look.